Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. So it's been a few days. I uh, have been grinding away on the cage, so I haven't been really filming too much. A little snippets here and there, mostly tonight. Um, but really it's just welding, cutting and grinding tube, uh, fitting everything up, whole saw action grinders. Like I said, it's just kind of like cutting the floor all up and welding patches on the floor it's there's not much more to show you but i figured i'd give you a little, little update um but we'll get the cage to the cage in a second um our engine is almost done out at freedom racing engines um we are i have decided that we are going with a whole new fuel system um new injectors new pumps we're going to just step everything up well we're going to set the bar really high let's just put it that way We'll go over all that when we get to the engine and all that. Um, we're hoping to, to put it on the engine dyno out there. And I'm really excited. So it really just, it's kind of seeing a light at the end of the tunnel as far as getting the cage done. Because that should, time frame wise, hopefully we'll get the cage wrapped up. And then get the engine. And then we can start all the other monotonous stuff such as running lines and running wires. Because we don't have a single wire on the truck right now. But... That engine project, ugh, I can't wait till we, uh, I can't wait till it gets ran. I'm hoping that I'm out there for it. So anyhow, like I said, the fuel's coming, all that. It's just so excited for that. So anyway, onto the cage. So as you guys can see, our cage has gotten quite a bit lower. So I actually dropped the cage down. I am trying to get all the top stuff done. Um, most of it is just going from corner to corner and bracing. So I don't need to have the thing level and plumb. Um, as you can see, before I dropped it down, I got our funny car cage all welded in. That's the other thing. Everything here is all welded in. Um, everything is done except for a couple spots on these diagonals and a couple other places where really can't get in there with the TIG torch. So I do have a diffuser cup coming. Uh, so hopefully we can get in there nice and deep like. But our funny car cage is all in, comes down and around. Everything's looking good there. Um, we got our two back bars here. They're in, they're parallel and plumb and all that when it's up. We got our two helmet bars up top here. And of course my battery's starting to die. All right, fresh battery. I thought that one was all charged up. Our uh, helmet guard bars are in, and then our top X we are working on now. Um, for this this one is completely welded in, and the other one we have uh, completely welded other than in this little crotch area right here. And same thing on the other side. So as you can see, that diagonal kind of comes straight over here. Well, it would right into this corner. But instead, we don't have to go through the funny car cage. What we're going to end up doing is actually putting another bar from here over. Um, I think it'll probably end up looking a little goofy looking, but it's the best way to do it. And we'll bring the other part of the X right into that. It should be a nice, easy tube to do. And then off of that, we have a bunch of um, stiffeners that we got to put in. I think there's one here, one here one maybe here i gotta look at that they're real little pieces the only thing with those is it has to be one inch tube um gussets are gussets i guess you they call them. they have to be one inch tube and they have to be at least four inches so a lot of wiggle room with what we can do there but yeah it is really starting co to come together um it kind of really you can't appreciate it down like this but when it's up it's looking good. I put the Kirky in there. Um, the, the funny car cage is good around us. Um, I'm very happy with how everything's turning out thus far. So really, once we get this top stuff all finished welded, I will go through and try and paint basically from here up. Um, now, that's not saying that some of that paint's not going to get burnt off eventually because there is a bar that has to come like here down. And also in the back, we have to do a big X. But I think once we raise it up, that will be the last time that we raise it up. Because obviously, once we have an X going through the floor or, you know, bars coming down into here, we can't lower the cage again. So trying to get that all taken care of. And like I said, we'll, we'll spray bomb it probably just like a gloss black. And 
that way like all the center stuff is done it's painted we're good to go there but yeah i'm very happy with how everything's turning out i've found that it's actually easier to just use the little templates that i print from that bentec software than using the drill press for a notcher because just getting the angles getting it all then you still got to dress it up with the grinder a little bit to me if you put those little templates they have on there and all your measurements are right and your cage is built like that like the, with those x bars in the top i put those templates on there and just measured and got got them right and then cut them with the grinder and everything just fit up real nice and just went in there i think you know the one i might have had to shave a little extra off or something but everything was fitting really good so happy with how that it's just it's monotonous you know it's get your measurements put it in the software um figure it out make double check it then you got to cut your two make your templates cut all your cuts then you got to get it tacked in there which is a challenge um if you the last video i believe it was i kind of ended with this bar and i didn't have it in because as you can imagine trying to hold that over there and up here and have everything right and tack it was just frustrating um some of this stuff is a lot, little easier with clamping it and whatnot but yeah it's still a little bit of a bear trying to do it all yourself that and you know i'll get everything all fitted up and ready to weld and oh crap i forgot to to grind the mill scale off um it's just all the little stuff like that and just trying to double and triple check my work trying not to destroy or waste tube or you know tr start welding something in and uh, you know uh, that's not going to work or, you know cut it out grind it out all so i don't want to get into any of that because we everything does have to be tig welded since it is chromoly and you can't tig weld it and you can't have grind marks all over it you know you can't you know grind it smooth that's totally unacceptable it has to be just a solid weld so I know I've just been rambling on, gave you guys a nice little update, I think, but that's what's going on with the cage. Uh, it'll probably be a few more days until we do something like this again, because as you can see, we're just putting bars in, we're welding bars up, and it's just more of the same monotony. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed your up to date, and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage, get the wrenching on your truck.